guys. So we think we have a no spark here. So here's how we're gonna test it. We're gonna pull off the spark plug wire, just stick a Phillips in there, and we'll just ground it to the head right there and bump it over and see if we get a spark. No spark. So the next thing we wanna do is test the coil. Now there's some numbers here you wanna remember. Three, five, and 10, or no, yeah, three, five, and 10. And uh, when it comes to a coil, always remember those numbers, three, five, and 10. And let me explain to you why. So the first thing we're gonna do, we don't need the key on for this test because we're just gonna test ohms across the coil. So get you a multimeter here and turn it to the lowest setting. Oops, I just shut it off. All right, and so you're not reading any ohms. And now what we wanna do is we wanna test the two leads. We have a power lead and we have a trigger lead on the coil. Doesn't matter which way you do this. Touch both of them and you wanna be between three and five. Remember our numbers, three, five, and 10. And we're actually low, so it's probably a bad coil, but there's another test now, and that's where the 10 comes in. We need to be between three and five. The other test is, pull off your spark plug wire, if I can get it off. Touch either one of those, the trigger or the power, it doesn't matter. Stick your multimeter inside the spark plug, and now we're gonna test ohms here. We wanna turn this, turn it to your next setting. This one is gonna be 2,000. This is where the 10 comes in. We wanna read 10,000 ohms or more. And so we're gonna to touch this on the power side. It doesn't matter whether you do power or trigger and stick the other one inside the spark plug hole and take a look. Nothing. We have a bad coil. We should be reading at least 10,000 ohms right there. So trigger to power should be three to five ohms and uh, spark plug wire that goes to the spark plug from power or trigger should read 10,000 ohms. So we have a bad coil. Let's go grab another coil and uh, I'll throw another video on here to show you guys the difference between a good one and a bad one. But at this point, I just have a bad one on this one, so it won't do no good. So this bike definitely needs a new coil. I hope this helps you out. Please click like, please click subscribe. Click on my name underneath this video for all my other how-to videos. And as always guys, enjoy.